Hi everyone, this is Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. I am participating in Friday Book Hall, which is an open collaboration hosted by Nat Williams, whose link I'll put down below. I haven't done a lot of talking because my last few videos, because I'm oh, every time I start talking, especially to other people, I started coughing. So I don't know how I'll go today, and I might just have to stop very suddenly. So because I've had this dreadful virus thing for ages, my husband's had. Is for three weeks. It's just gone on forever. Anyway, around the corner from me, there's a second-hand collectibles antiques shop, and they have a couple of wire big baskets outside, and they charge fifty cents. Well, I dived in the bin, and I picked out these because mainly I know they're in poor condition, but I'm not particularly fussed about the poor condition. I'm just after the um, pictures. <laughs> Because I think they're cute. They would look lovely on in the journal. I might have to cut some of them out and put them in my, my old journal. This is in 19... Oh, I don't like the way they do drama numerals. Um, 1955, 1954. So, I mean, Noddy was a big hit when I was a child. I remember watching Noddy. And I know he's not politically correct now because of of the characters in there, but he was fun. He was a toy. He belonged in Toy Town. He loved a bright yellow car and all the toys were in the, you know, a bit part of the story. And, and yes, we can't have toys like that anymore, but um, this was a, 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 a book from the time. So I just thought it was just fun. It had lots of lovely colours. I like to probably be a bit um, careful about which ones I would probably put in the journal because I wouldn't want to um, uh, offend anybody. Um, but I mean, something like that is probably would be alright. Yeah. They're bright colourfuls. I was just 50 cents. I thought I can't go wrong for 50 cents. I mean, they would make really great um, journaling um, cards in the back of them, and there's a lovely font. That's a big. I have lots of them in their Blight and Stories and uh, I'm going to be showing a few of those over the next few weeks because I need more room. <laughs> um, I'm trying to sort of um, do a bit of um, harvesting, a bit like Nat does. And then I realised, I thought, oh, I'm not using that, I may as well get rid of it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. Sorry. <coughs> So yes, I think some of the pictures will be fine. That's nice. Like that one. And then there's this other one and I thought oh, I probably wouldn't do any Eastern uh, sort of journal type things. But when I looked inside, the colours, it was the colours that grabbed me. I thought it would be perfect just as... Um, Add an interest into a, into a journal because of the colours and it's nice thick paper. Lots of journal space here. Uh, 1958, the year after I was born. This was given to somebody in 1964, the year I came to Australia. Look at the colours, I mean that's beautiful, isn't that beautiful? Look at this apple, oh, looks almost metallic really, the way they've done that. It's just would be just there's nothing on the other side either. Look at all that journaling space. It just be would be fabulous, I think. Nice big pictures. I mean, I'd have to be probably have to trim some of these pages. Obviously, these look at that beautiful colours. Nice bright pages. Not particularly evil. Jealous sisters. Very anglicised, even though they're Eastern stories. <coughs> Sorry. I'm still coughing, I've stopped. I keep, keep coughing more, I'll stop. But very, very huge pictures. Sorry, I'm going to try a bit of water, see if that helps. Just really bright pictures. Again, this was 50 cents, so I've got a big, huge book. 
and I mainly got it because of the pictures I thought I mean even if I could use some of the story they're huge pages they're just huge pages and I, I don't you know it's not probably a suitable book for a child because it's too too big to hold in their laps <laughs> but I mean the pictures are just glorious it would be perfect as a sharing book you know you, you read it to your child and share it with your children or your grandchildren very blue-eyed blonde person this is a visitor to this country I'm not sure I'm not really going to read the story. The Merchant and the Blind Sheep. That's gorgeous. <laughs> I like how they portray the villains. <laughs> a, bit like, a bit like films, really. They're sort of, you know, it didn't take me long to work out all the bad guys always wore black and all the good guys always wear white or cream or light colours. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Beautiful. That made her eyes very blue. Very interesting picture. Lovely pictures. I just thought, I guess I first grabbed it because of the pictures. I'm just wondering who it's by. Does it say? Did I say? Oh, Odhams. Red Odhams Press. Yes. Treasury. Oh, I did say 1950. Yeah, I did, yes. So there's that one. And then these other two are from my own childhood. These were my childhood books. So I've kept them all this time, since I was a girl, this is 1964. Um, this was given to me in Christmas 1964, and that was the year we came to Australia. So then this was supposed to be posted out to Australia by parcel. So why is that? Did that get stuck in by somebody? Oh yes, parent probably stuck that in the back of the front. <laughs> it's got my name in it, my maiden name. Red table, did I stick it when I was a when I was a girl? Who who knows? The pages are thick not as thick as this um uh, other book though. There's no more um Eastern Tale of the Game. So the pictures are really cute. They're cute, they're cute. Oh they are, that's nice, I like that. Some animals that live underground. Platypus? Well oh, so they lived underground, they do have their burrows underground. And you've got that um, monochromatic um, colours that they seem to go in for um, at one particular time of uh, uh, their publishing. This is now sprinkling, so these are all, oh, obviously I coloured it in. And that one. <laughs> I think I'm, I went 1964, let me see. I was seven. So, you know, you know, like I was eight just not long after Christmas. I mean, I was eight in January. So I was only seven when I got this. So um, I'll colour it in afterwards. Look at that colour. Colour one. And it's beautiful pictures. They're nice. I've forgotten about this book. Oh, I remember this page. It's my favourite page. When I was a child, this was my favourite page. I remember now. I've got in pencil here. <laughs> I've rubbed it out. Goodness knows how old I was. My boyfriend. My boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's nice too. A story out of order. That's terrible colouring in. Must have been in a rush. Must have been rubbed that out. So I'm just getting married. Lots of the monochromatic oh, boy and a girl. Can you discover their names? Oh, I see. To get the clue. Oh, look at that. 
shocking coming in. I know, I know, it wasn't a mess. I would know it wasn't a messy coming in. So why did it like that? Got no idea. Kim's holiday. That's a story about Australian animals. This in colour, another colour story. It's great. I've forgotten what this book looked like. I actually had forgotten. I went and had to look for some books what I had, and I remember, and I thought, oh, I should have got those books. Because I was looking for this one, I was. I thought I'd hor had a horrible feeling I'd thrown it out. This was my this was my all time favourite book. I, I don't know how many times I've read the story. Heidi. This is um to Kay from Jeffrey Julian Lynn. No idea who that is. Must have been family friends. 1962. So, was that before I came to Australia? So, it must be. I have to ask my mum and dad. People I don't remember. I love this story. Oh, I must have been pretty young. Look at that scribble in that. This was my sister. She was younger than me. Practicing my writing. Show me colour the end, really. I think people just, you just think you just did for some unknown reason. Because but I'm, I'm impressed. Look at the condition. Apart from the colouring in, there's no torn pages. It's my, my name and my sister's name. There's no torn pages. There's no raggedy edges. I must have taken good care of my book. And that's why when I became a junk journalist, the whole idea of cutting up books was really difficult for me because I, I mean, I treasured my books and I looked after them, as you can see. I mean, I've had this since, since I was 1960, 1962, so I was five. Five. Is that what it said? Is that what they've got given it to me? Oh, I'll tell you what, this cold, this virus thing, my brain doesn't say... Even if it was six or, or eight, you know, six, I was no idea I'll have to ask. And this is my, like I said, I, I, I'm, I must have looked after it really well because Hayden, the pages are not really all that yellowed because I've looked after it so well. It kept it in a nice place. I had a bookshelf for a long time that my dad made me in. I mean, we even had that when we first got married, so. Really hope you liked my sharing today. It wasn't very long, but I was a bit worried about coughing. Thanks very much for joining me. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.